So speaking of controversy, the Wales v England game on Saturday was full of it. So Pascal Gozer must be the most loved uh, man in Wales this week, Jamie. Um, he is. Controversy-wise, let me get this out of the way straight away. I see no problem whatsoever with that crossfield kick. Um, I thought it was a very smart play by Dan Bigger. If that happened to us, and certainly when Dan and I played, you know, kind of defensive leaders in that Welsh side for many years, we would be kicking ourselves if we turned our backs and the ref hadn't pointed to the sticks. Uh, and we'd take full responsibility. Um, and certainly playing under Sean Edwards, he made the team very aware that you watch out for quick taps. Uh, Kieran Hardy scored a try from one and you watch out for those penalties. And until the ref has signaled to the post, you do not switch off. Now, I think it's lazy defence from England. I think they got can have no complaints. Um, and I know, you know, the argument, Dylan will probably chuck in there as well. If you've got a ref telling you to speak to your team, whatever, he should then give you opportunity to to come back. But I think then my... That is my is, argument. Yeah, then my <laughs> the ref says to talk to your team... In. Dan Bigger, oh. very smart player. And he's just asked the question. Let me know when time's back on. Bang, blows a whistle. Thank you very much. Um, yeah. So I, I just don't think England got an argument on that one. The knock-on, the shoe's on the other foot. I think that's a clear knock-on. And how we can't give that, I'm, uh, I'm bemused. Right, can I come in? Yeah, I was waiting yes. for this. Mate, as a, as a captain, if the ref says, talk to your team, time is off, you bring your team in. There's only a, there's only a couple of times you bring your team in in the game. It's one if there's a, a, a bad injury, but like yours, Lids, where, where time is off and it's clear as day, water carriers on the field, you'll come in, you have a chit chat, and then, you know, the game gets back to life with a scrum line out, whatever it may be. The other time is when the ref tells you to talk to your team. He told Owen to do that. Owen brings his team in, and he's basically started the game without letting the opposition captain know. So at, at kickoff time, um, you know, when you captain a team, the ref looks the opposition captain, goes, you're right. And you go, yep. And he looks at the other captain and goes, you're right. Yep. And then he starts the game. That is usually how the game restarts after that sort of moment. And I was confused. And I'm sitting there in hindsight going, how would I have approached that? And Owen tried to, to do what he could. But the ref just, it was almost like a prejudice against Owen or that decision. Like he didn't even want to hear it. Like, I don't know. Like, I just think a, it was there, morally There was a wrong. moment when Biggs has said, or oh, can you let me know when time is back on, that the ref looks over to the England squad, looks back at his whistle and just blows it. That was the time for the ref to go, Owen, I'm going to put play back on. Yeah. Right now. And he doesn't. And I completely agree with you. I think he probably should have. But even still, my But how, how, how the hell are you supposed to talk to, to your team? And then get back into position to a position of strength because what, once once the ref said talked to that you can't take a quick tap. I thought once he said, oh, I, I don't no, know. There's so much speculation. Everyone's in. got their um, interpretations of the rules and stuff. But I think as a ref trying to work with two captains, like that is a clear and obvious. Um, I don't know. It's like he just didn't want to work with them. He didn't want to give them a chance. Um, which I think is unfair. And that, you know, even like the second try, I've seen those given in rugby. You know what I mean? He lost control of the ball, knocks it on, knocks it back. I don't care. Those things happen in rugby. But the first thing, that doesn't happen in rugby. And that's what, like, I'm sitting there watching it going, is this is this guy, does he truly believe it's France's year? Because he's doing everything he can to... <laughs> yes. Liz, you know, what's your take, mate? Um... Yeah, it's obviously depends which side you're, you're you sit on the seven bridge, you know. Like obviously, as a, as a Welsh guy, you're like, oh, it's happy days. Um, How, can I can I interject? <laughs> yeah. You don't need to be that guy because you've won the game, points in the bag, like it's done. You're, you're three in a row. But like looking back at it now, is that right? I don't think um, like Liam Williams' try was a try personally, um, but I know from experience playing with Bigs and that he is always sort of looking like looking out for that so I think I think Sanj Liam Williams come up to him and it was like Josh Adams obviously over the far side he's like signaling like it's on you but without jumping up and down and waving do you know what I mean because he, he's done it so many times that cross field kick to Josh Adams he did it in the World Cup so it's like time's off but he's like as soon as he can if if the English guy's not walking across or got in place quick enough he's gonna have a sniff for it 
So like fair play to Biggs, like he's he's across his craft and he straight away he's like his time on is still on. He's pinged and gone from it. You obviously from an English perspective, yeah, you're going to be tamping because Owen Farrell he he didn't get clear signal. He, he, that was what he was protesting, going straight up to the referee. Look, mate, you didn't give me chance to say that time was back on, so we could. Do you know what I mean? He, he, he might have said to him, I'd give you the opportunity, but he didn't. Do you know what I mean? That's what Owen's going to say. And that's why he was going after him. Um, I don't think Usain Bolt could have got there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I, I, I love that Biggs has done that. Like, as a player, you take what you can get and, and you push it. And we're going to think we're going to come on to this. Like, Maro's been pushing it and Maro gets away with a lot. But at the weekend, Maro didn't get away with it. So I've, I've got no issues with, with Adams, Biggs, like... Um, and, and whatnot. I just think the ref, like he just refused to to acknowledge a mistake. Um, and I think when you got a fourth official there, like, did I give them time? And I'm, I'm surprised the fourth official goes really quiet in his truck because the commentary they're all talking about it. Everyone's talking about it, and he had a moment to say the fourth official say we should probably just look at this. You didn't give them time. Um, you know, whereas the fourth official was pretty quick to, to review the red cards we've seen. You know, we've got head contacts here. We'll look at Tom Curry's tackle. You know, they're quick to come in there. But in such a controversial moment in a game, like the fourth official goes very quiet. He's probably French as well. Who's but, it? But questions, here, questions here. When the ref says to you, have a word with your team, does that have to mean gather everyone into a huddle? I think when there's a really loud crowd, probably yes. There's no crowd in the stadium at the weekend. Could Faz just turn around and go, lad, sort your shit out, roll away from the contact area? No, I, it. I, I think when the ref says that, in my experience, every time it's get your team in. And, and, and in respect to the ref, you need to show him that you're going to deliver the message that he's told you to deliver. You can't just go, lads, you know, and everyone engage with you from 50 to 70 metres away, you know what I mean? Yeah, look, as a neutral, I was even very confused. But I know, Jamie, you're like, oh, you don't have rugby knowledge. But I did find it very confusing. I was like, hang on a second. <laughs> so, Dylan, I'll, I'll, I will agree with you on that. Um, but look, speaking of Farrell, he has been criticised for his attitude and language to the referees throughout this tournament. So is it time that we start to see the disrespect and back chat punished with a card? Jamie, so, what do you well, make of that? No, or Dylan, know, or Dylan. Is a, he's a... He's a fantastic player, uh, very competitive bloke, very proud captain of his country. I thought he played very well on the weekend as well. Um, is he disrespectful with the way he approaches refs? I don't think so. I think he's just very, he's very competitive. He desperately wants to win. Um, I, I, I don't see him as a disrespectful player um, in a, one bit. I just think he's a real, real strong competitor and he's been a wonderful, you know, leader for England. Um yeah, I don't think there's a conversation to be had there with disrespect with Owen uh, because I think he's a real respectful player. 